Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be going over the recent changes and increase to the logout timer, increasing from five minutes to 10 minutes. Before we look at some different AFK methods that really benefit this change, let's go over some of the other updates that were released today. The biggest change to today's update was the change to protein planks. Before, you were able to use them just as stackable planks, um, so you could use them in Fort 4 and 3 to make the various refined wood and wood frames and whatnot. But after the change, they have removed this purpose for protein planks. Now they are going to be used similarly to protein bars. So if you go to your workbench in your player-owned house, you can use your protein planks there. And you can see it's very similar to the protein bars. It's extremely AFK XP. Um, and actually the XP per hour was decreased with this change. Um, but as you can see, it's an extremely more AFK. So now we finally have an AFK training method for construction, which is kind of nice, um, but it was nice to have, uh, you know, those stackable planks as well. I have probably 8,000 protein planks in my bank, and I was planning on using them for uh, Fort 4 and 3, but didn't get around to it yet. So unfortunately, I'll have to go through uh, the annoyance of actually, you know, either buying the refined planks or making them myself uh, and going back and forth to the bank a lot more than I planned. Aside from the logout timer increase and the change to protein planks, there wasn't too much uh, new added to the game. Double XP was confirmed to launch this Friday, July 28th. And there was another little teaser for necromancy where the first necromancer will actually pop up on the side of your screen and you'll hear him talk while in game. It's probably some limited time thing until necromancy is released. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, but aside from that, uh, that is all that's new into the game. So let's jump into some of the AFK methods that have been most positively impact by the increase to the logout timer. So the first method that was helped because of the AFK timer increase is AFK mining. Um, so, you know, this method, you can AFK as long as you don't log out. Um, if you have the perfect Juju mining potion active and you have stone spirits in your inventory, your stamina bar is actually going to replenish each time you mine an ore. So it's essentially giving you, you know, unlimited stamina. Uh, to mine as much ore as possible. And mining is actually a fairly decent money maker. Um, doing the light and dark amnica is pretty decent. Uh, each ore sells for you know roughly 4k each. Um, so it's pretty good. You can have it sent straight to the bank through sign of porters. So if you have the grace of the elves, you can teleport 500 of them at a time before replenishing it. If you have the golden consignment buff still active, then they automatically can just go straight to your bank and you never have to worry about that right now. Um, but then also, you know, you can do some other ores like Bainite ore, which is also pretty good uh, GP per hour. So overall, you know, it's a pretty good AFK money maker. Uh, it doesn't make you the most money per hour, um, but it is extremely AFK. You'll also be getting some geodes while you are mining. Um, you'll be able to get some igneous geodes as well as sedimentary geodes. Uh, the sedimentary geodes are the best. They're quite rare, um, but they can have, you know, on average about two or 300K uh, in terms of items in them. Uh, so you will be making some extra profit from that as well. Easy mode arc glacier is another method that you will be able to do and take advantage of the increased AFK timer. You can start an instance with the Arc Glacier where it's normal mode and all of the mechanics are turned off and this fight becomes extremely easy. The only thing you will need is either the Vampirism Aura or you can use the Penance Aura and Soul Split. And this will essentially give you unlimited health and you can just AFK the boss. You'll be getting, you know, your marks of war every hour. The loot from Mark Glacier can also be pretty decent. You might make, you know, a few mil per hour at this boss, 
Um, you do have the possibility of getting the Chaos Die Reroll token, um, which will allow you to reroll a drop from Zamorak if you're ever uh, doing that boss. And then you'll also be getting the Elder Troves of Wen, which can make you a fair bit of money. If you do have the final Pontifex Shadow Ring, um, you will be able to get one trove every six minutes, and on average you'll be getting just over 200k per trove. So it's pretty good, you'll get two mil just from the troves, and then you also get some loot from the Arc Glacor, and it is fully AFK as long as you have either Soul Split and Penance Aura, or uh, just use the Vampirism Aura. The increased AFK timer was also a huge buff to archaeology. It is a bit sad to say this about RuneScape's newest skill until Necromancy comes out, but it is a really AFK skill. Honestly, I can't even keep track of the amount of times I was logged out due to the 5 minute AFK timer on my grind to 120 archaeology. So the increase to 10 minutes is going to be extremely helpful. There are so many excavation spots where you are actually excavating for that artifact longer than the five minutes. So this is going to be extremely helpful. You can also make some money from archeology span as well. If you are excavating from the artifact spots, you'll be getting some archeology span materials which can then be sold for profit. Another way to do it, which is what I did in my last few levels of archaeology is I was doing uh, certain artifact spots where I was able to complete the green gobo goodies and the red rum relic uh, collections which gave me tetra compass pieces. Um, this way I could then uh, make a bunch of tetra compasses and I could sort of you know do some clue scroll type rewards and I did make some money off of the tetra compasses as a whole um, so that could be a fun way to train archaeology and also potentially make some money as well. You have the chance at getting Guildmaster Tony's Matic, which sells for an incredibly high amount of GP. Last time I checked, I believe it was over 1 bill GP. So you could definitely make a ton of money from archaeology and, you know, the AFK timer is just going to help the skill overall as well. The Dream of Aya was also buffed with the increased AFK timer. They have the different skilling stations across the area where you can just AFK skill. Uh, before you could do this until the logout timer, so now you can do it a bit after. Um, you can see you also do get some different items as well. So you can make some GP off of this, um, but really it's mainly just for some AFK XP and it was helped uh, from the increased AFK timer. And finally, one of the more obvious activities in RuneScape uh, that actually went over the previous five minute AFK timer is imbuing the Dine Arrows to make the different Elder God Wars arrows. You can see uh, this bundle of arrows is taking over five minutes to make, um, which now isn't a problem. I won't be logged out after five minutes. I'll be logged out after 10, so I will be able to make it all in one go. Of course, if you do have the Tier 3 Ranger's Workroom from the most recent quest, you will be able to uh, imbue these arrows much faster, uh, but you will lose the experience gain on them. So if you still want that XP gain and don't or don't have the Ranger's Workroom, um, then this will be helpful uh, to do. You can also see that I do have uh, my different enhancers. Uh, just a reminder to you guys, if you do have the enhancers from the event, uh, make sure to use them uh, before they are gone. And so those are some of the main benefits to the increased AFK timer. Honestly, it isn't really a huge benefit. It is only increasing from five to 10 minutes, but it still will help various methods. There are also plenty of other methods that I wouldn't have mentioned in this video. You can think of a ton of different AFK uh, combat methods that might be uh, beneficial to have the additional AFK timer. However, loot does despawn after about uh, two minutes, so do keep that in mind. But overall, I think the increase timer is really nice for the game. It's a nice quality of life update. 
I don't think there really are too many ways that you can take advantage of it or abuse it, so I think it is a really nice update. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the increased AFK timer and also the change to protein planks. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.